What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. We're going to be putting exterior windshield protection film on this one right here. And of course this is a very, very unusual, very large window and I can't really get a ladder and start doing my shrink and all that kind of stuff. The install is easier to manage it with a ladder and two people and you, you put it on and the squeegeeing is relatively easy. But the shrinking is very tedious, takes a very long time. So this right here, I bought it so that I could do a fleet of these, which I already have five for the same company and I have others interested in doing the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my shrink here, my pre-cut here, and then install it over there. All right. We're gonna go ahead and align the film. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and kind of like cut here, the film right now, cut it here, slide it over so that then slide it back over here so that it'll have like one eighth of a gap to a quarter gap all the way around that seam, okay? So we'll get that started right now. Okay, so we made the cut. Move it about this much right here. And then go ahead and cut the other side. And then slide it back, okay? Okay, see there's a gap right here that's barely, barely visible. And same right here. Barely visible gap right here. That's, it's already centered, so let's go ahead and distribute her and start shrinking it. All right, guys, one thing to note is that this windshield film has three layers. It has a, a uh, cap sheet on top, I guess, to prevent from scratching when you're doing heat shrinking. I'm gonna remove that because it adds a lot of uh, thickness to the film, so when you're doing shrinking, it becomes more difficult. So the top layer, the very first layer, I remove it. And so this becomes uh, a typical four mil exterior film. And of course it still has, you know, it's facing that way. It still has the layer on the bottom that you're gonna peel before the install. This is a sticky side that's gonna go straight up there, okay? Just want you to know that some people, if they don't remove that layer, Shrinking becomes harder because the film is a lot thicker being that it has so many films stacked up there. This is a very, very difficult shrink, but it's manageable because we have all this area to work with. When we are shrinking this finger, it is very huge. I understand we could start a little bit here. This is not regular car window tinting. This is security film, kind of exterior windshield protection film by Ultrafit. And it will require when we are shrinking this, not that we attack the little finger or big finger. No, because this is a very small area. We're gonna be using all the area shrinking because all this is gonna mold and conform into this area. So we're gonna do it sectioned here, but I'm gonna be shrinking from here to here. And then as I'm going up and I see that the film is affected, meaning it's a little bit shrunk, I'm gonna start distributing it. It, it itself is gonna start moving here and here and here. And I'm gonna attack at all those different angles, right? Oh, and by the way, the wind, this, this exterior protection film likes to be moist on the inside, so if it gets a little bit dry, I'm gonna stop and re-saturate it with some of this slip solution, which is typical water. I got tin slime in there and just uh, regular tap water, so I'll saturate it with water again, okay? All right.
I myself am moving the window film for I know it needs to, need to be moved to so that it can be shrunk properly because if I only shrink in this small space it, it might it probably will crease or I, I might fuck it up or get a distortion in the film so this right here When I reach the top, I'm going to go ahead and inflate this finger so that he could distribute in all this area and then I'm going to attack from the top down and down up, okay? Wincrisp UltraFit film, I've been using it successfully for several years and I went to trying another film that was supposed to be a faster install, you know, the one that looks like PPF and I did, but that film turned out to be a miserable, horrible thing that I had to redo every single window. So I stopped installing this one to try that one out and when that one failed completely, I came back to using this one because this one has not failed me as far as longevity and all that kind of stuff. It's been doing very, very, very good. And so here I am doing even the hardest vehicles like this one with the film because I trust it to be a very good high quality product. Anyway, I won't make the video too, too long. I think you can see what I'm doing. Attack it the same way. Make sure it's saturated with plenty of liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and go back here I'm going to re-wet the window when I'm done and I'm going to scoot this down and scoot this down and finish my shrink here. But everywhere else, you're going to see me go ahead and just continue doing it all the way to the edge the way that I should, right? So this film is a lot, a lot more heat shrink friendly than a lot of other films on the exterior, including all those ones that you already know. I don't want to offend them or nothing, so I'm not even going to say names. But anyway, we're going to stop there. Okay, you can see this thing's already been laid and it's still like I promised about half an inch from the bottom. I'm not gonna worry about the bottom. And it's all to the edge, pretty much about one quarter inch here, gap. One quarter of an inch gap here. I anchored it so that I could actually get my recorder and record. You can see that the film conforms very well to the, uh, to the windshield. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and show you the amount of pressure which is not a whole lot they're going to be using to apply it. So, I have some extra guys here helping me because we need to do this in the ladder. You don't need no specialty uh, very hard presser. This is Torx 2, 2 by Dirty Tools. And the first thing you want to do is get the air out. That way you don't have to be chasing it later. And that's pretty much it. You can see how flat it is. The uh, shrink is very, very successful. Pretty much do that all the way to the edges. Okay, you can do it with both hands all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. And you can see I'm not fighting any fingers or anything because it would shrink properly. And that's all you need to do. You can see how clear it is. No debris, no contamination. You do it once right all the way to the edge. And don't worry about any problems. And the whole install process is probably about an hour and a half. And uh, I'm not sure what a typical windshield is, what, about 45 minutes? So $550 versus 250 I think. I think it's a pretty good thing um, as far as income goes and stuff like that, okay? So what I did here on this side, pretty much do on that side, and you're done because there's no more second squeegee or nothing. I've done it so many times, and it's clear as 
clear. Like you won't be able to detect there that it's under, okay? Guys, have an awesome day. All right, you can see the finished Squeegee product. Uh, really clean the window. It is as clear, as clear as the windshield. High, high quality product, Ultra Fit by Windcrest or Windcrest by Ultra Fit. You can see right here, there at the bottom, there's a small little finger. I'm gonna let it dry and then tomorrow I'll just press it out. They're gonna drop this, they drop off the van, finished it, and I'm gonna do one more tomorrow. I already done a total of six of them. So a lot of experience. That's the reason I bought the windshield there to uh, shrink it. I'm gonna recommend if you guys get into this exterior uh, windshield protection film application that you buy something that is either this big for these fleet units or something that's a little bit more curvy. This is a Chevrolet 21 or a GMC 21 uh, Sierra, right, windshield. And so I, other sedans, I shrink here and then I go ahead and install them over there. I just read the curve on both of the vehicles and they happen to be similar. We use it and it turns out 100% correct. I shrank the product here. This is the product right here. And those are the results. You can see like the light, there's nothing, it's like clear, clear as daylight all the way to the edges as it should be.